You had a nice weekend, right? Yeah. So what's the spirit in the council after South Africa's win? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, going to, I'm going to say to Karen, you know, I, I, she gave me a rugby ball on um, Friday hand over, so I'm going to say, Karen, thank you very much. That was a very good, good omen. Uh, we won. But we remain friends. We're going to be sitting next to one another, right? But I think it was a very good game uh, for South Africa. As uh, the captain, the president said, we really needed something like that for nation building. But also for the council. They can see now, you know, we can work in all respect, in the council, on and off field. So we have to reform through the council now. Ambassador, <laughs> <laughs> on Guinea Bissau, Ambassador, could you just come to the big mic and say a word on the PRST you're adopting on Guinea Bissau and well, what your concerns are? About well, it's going to be adopted now in the morning. The Guinea Bissau um, PRS will be conducted. And I hope the president uh, will take heed of the council's um, uh, uh, remarks on Guinea Bissau and hope that the stability will uh, be maintained and that all parties will join forces to make sure that November 24 elections are not missed. We hope that they can step down a bit and allow uh, the prime minister. Um, to continue with the election preparations and hold them as agreed that we don't miss the timelines for the elections. So, we, we, and we, do, we hope that there will be no, the, poli the army will remain in the barracks, uh, that the, the protesters will um, throw down a bit, and then we have uh, free fair elections around the, uh, around the country. Is the level of uh, preventative diplomacy I think, I think so. I think ECOWAS is putting his best. Um, uh, Ambassador Mbao of um, Trial Guinea, who was who was chair of the of the sanctions committee, was shuttling between the president, prime minister, the chief of staff, and um, we know that the colleagues um, who who do peace building also were there. I think there was so much shuttling. The Portuguese-speaking countries were there. The EU was there. AU was there. I think they were overwhelmed, and I think that's why the level of stability now. And I think that's what we need uh, in the area of preventive diplomacy, that we, we should release all the levers. We should leave all the efforts and um, ensure that people understand that the international community uh, cannot um, uh, take some of these things anymore, that we need, we need to have uh, peace it's time for peace now. Team for is over. Uh, Guinea-Bissau must realize that 55 years is too much for people in this situation. That they must focus on building uh, the country for their own people. Thanks very much. Hey. Uh, okay.